con los terroristas. Good morning, Medway. Today is Friday, May the 17th, and I'm Joe. And I'm Haley, and welcome to another edition of Medway TV Live from the MTV Control Room. This is a last reminder for graduating students that your order form and money must be submitted for your cap and gown rentals. For the commencement graduation ceremony, order forms are available in guidance and are to be submitted to Mrs. Timmel and Mrs. Hughes ASAP. The girls' rugby team will be playing their final league game Tuesday at 3.30 here at Medway. Come out and support your team. On Wednesday, the OPP did a demonstration in a football field about inspiring driving. No, impaired driving. Here's Josh with the story. Hi, I'm Josh Patterson, and I'm here with four of the actors that were in the drunk driving presentation. <laughs> What do you expect the audience to learn from the whole experience? Hopefully they learn a little bit about the dangers of driving drunk, uh, especially with the May 2-4 and then prom coming up. It's good to have that in the back of their heads, especially this time of year. I think the biggest thing that drinking and driving is not going to just affect you. As we saw, there was an innocent family whose father was killed and this is going to affect the parents and the mother for a lot longer than, say, like a minor injury. I would like to ask you, what are the statistics of drunk driving? Well, in uh, Canada right now, drunk driving is the number one cause of uh, death on Ontario's roadways. Uh, we deal with people who th seem to think that a couple of drinks is okay, but don't realize the consequences that can happen. So what do you expect the students that have watched this to take out from this? So today is a kind of in front, here it is experience with all the uh, emergency services involved, police, fire and ambulance, the local tow agency, everybody's on scene to show that this could actually happen and what the severity is and the response. And I think it really tied off at the end when Mary from Mad Canada spoke, but she came here and gave her story of an actual loss of life and that was of her four month old child. The biggest thing we want to leave all the students with is to realize that you have a long future, a long career ahead of you. These are the best years of your life and you have to make the right choices so they don't end up with dramatic uh, consequences such as this. Not only are you taking the chance for yourself, but you could have a serious effect and impact on everybody else that's involved. Things such as this and the speech from the mother who lost her child is an image that may pop into your head to make you say, you know what, I'm going to catch a ride, I'm going to call a friend, I'm going to call a parent, or you know what, I'm just going to walk it. And then we don't want the consequences of someone going to jail, um, someone lo losing their license, or someone going home in a box. Thank you very much. Thank you. Back, Back to you, MTV! Thanks, Josh. What a great day for Junior Boys Rugby as our boys brought home the silver medal by winning three out of four matches. In our game against Brantford St. John's, the team played exceptionally well, defeating their opponents in an exciting kicking match after the regulation time expired and the game was tied. Drew Merleitner was our MVP for the tournament, but there were many, many great performances during the day. The team plays Oak Ridge on Tuesday. Last week, two students traveled to Waterloo to compete in the Ontario Skills Competition. Here's Emma with the story. A week ago, two Medway students traveled to Waterloo to compete in the Provincial Skills Competition. This is where students from all across Ontario compete in areas like construction, auto, electrical, robotics, and cooking. Zach and Sydney from Medway competed in the Photography and Graphic Design Contest. What did you have to do in this competition? In this competition, I had to create a package and an advertisement for a golf ball agency. How many other competitors did you have in your area? I think there were 27 other competitors. And how did you do? I got 8th place. That's really good. Are you going to try again next year? I'm going to go back and see if I can improve my results. That's awesome. Thanks, Sydney. So, Zach, what areas did you compete in? Um, I did the photography competition. How many other competitors were you competing against? Um, there's uh, just over 30 people that I was against. A lot of good uh, talent there. And how did you place? Uh, I got 8th uh, in all of Ontario. Are you going to try again next year? Yep, I want to get back into it next year and see how well I can do. That's great. Thanks, Zach. Thanks, Emma. Yesterday, the Medway golf teams participated in TV Rock Cancer Fundraiser Scramble. 
The team raised over $600. Great golf played by Brody Duncan, Luke Jessen, Mitch Reed, Danny Marco, Brandon Jessen, Daniel Ivanovsky, Mr. Mitchelson, and Mr. Wiper. We are very proud of the girls' team who came in first and have brought home the Leslie Petter Memorial Golf Trophy. Alex Amos and Martha McDonald played a fantastic game. Surprised by Mrs. Cmac, Alex loaded, led most <laughs> of the shots for the team. Way to go, Giddlers. Your coaches are very proud. Next Wednesday, there's going to be a Wee Day assembly. Here's a short commercial about it. Hey, I'm Devi. I'm here with Miss Farkston's grade 11 parenting class. Uh, Miss Farkston, where did you guys go yesterday? Yesterday, we were at Centennial School um, delivering a bit of information about breakfast. These fine students helped me with six stations. We did pizza muffins, pancakes. Um, they had to make up a Play Doh breakfast. We did taste testing, cereal. We had some games, uh, active, and board games. Nice. And uh, what does this teach the students? Well, it taught the grade the grade three four classes that we worked with. It taught them about what breakfast is and how important breakfast is in the morning, and it taught these students how to work with grade three four children and how different they are and how similar they are and what kinds of things they came to the table with. And uh, what did you guys learn yesterday? Uh, we learned that there's a difference between the way grade threes and fours act about breakfast, and they didn't really know what could happen if you didn't have it. And were there any sponsors to help along with this program? And we've been lucky enough at the school to have a Green Apple grant this year, and we have to thank our, our Middlesex London health nurse, uh, Yoselin Desiree, for getting that all together. And now you know the importance of breakfast, and always remember to always eat the most important meal of the day. I think eat breakfast. Well, that's all I've got for you, MTV. Remember to eat your breakfast. Back to you, MTV. There will be a senior SAA meeting in Mrs. Ratford's room at the beginning of senior lunch. The girls' soccer team season came to an end yesterday with a playoff loss to Laurier. The team held its own for the first half tied 1-1, one one, thanks to a great goal from Mackenzie Dixon. In the second half, injuries mounted and we couldn't keep up despite a valiant effort. Coaches would like to commend Captain and Co-Captain Jen Hutcherson, Danny Oliver, Dan Dana Oliver, Emily Scott, and Bree Gordon for their outstanding leadership. They led warm-ups, organized the equipment, cheered from the sidelines, and inspired teammates with outstanding play. Congratulations on a great so season, girls. You are all classy soccer divas. We're just going to play the Wee Day Assembly commercial that we didn't play earlier. We apologize. Dream. Two brothers five years ago, fueled by the desire for change, by the hope that the world can be a better place. They called it We Day, born out of a dream, a call that brings a generation together for all issues young people care about. More than an event, it launches a year of actions for social change. Tens of thousands in attendance. Hundreds of thousands watching online. Millions watching on TV. Born out of a dream. For us to be better. For the world to be better. Youth is not wasted on the young. We Day is our generation. We Day is the movement of our time. But could Jacob Gore, Curtis Hayes, Ashley Hollins, Evan Jones and Joelle Greenhouse, please go to the main office after these announcements. Medway has seen a lot of changes in the last 60 years. Here's Emerson with one of his special reports. Stuff you didn't know about Medway. Hello Medway, are you ready to learn some fun facts about the school that you spent so many hours at? Did you know that there used to be a men's only staff room where the men would put their feet on tables and smoke cigars? Did you know that in 1971, students were stranded at the school because of snow and that the boys had to sleep on the lower level and the girls had to sleep on the upper level and some students had to be taken home by the military in armored personnel carriers? Did you know that right outside Mr. McGee's office in the courtyard, underneath the ground there is a secret cold chamber and that trucks used to pour coal right outside the chamber and then students who need to be disciplined would have to shovel coal from the pile into the chamber? Did you know that the farm behind me actually used to house chickens and that the eggs that the uh, chickens produced were actually used in the calf? 
Did you know that there is a rifle range right in the basement of the school? Thanks for watching Medway. I hope you learned something. That's all your announcements for today, Medway. Thanks for tuning in to MTV and have a great May long weekend. Peace.